Hi, today we are going to understand about overtime efforts in Microsoft Project and we will understand with a simple step-by-step uh, -step, uh, example to understand how the overtime efforts are handled for a task which is a fixed duration and for a task which is a fixed unit or fixed work. So let us get into a simple uh, demo to understand uh, this uh, functionality overtime efforts. Okay, for that we are going to follow follow the below steps to understand the functionality of this overtime effort. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's say we have a two task which is called paint the wall and the cleaning. Okay, I want to paint the wall. Uh, so paint the wall in four days and uh, the cleaning for the one day. So in this example, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fixed duration as the task. Okay, then we will actually change that uh, to fixed unit and see what is the uh, difference that we get in the user overtime efforts. So let us go step by step and understand this functionality. The step one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a task, paint the wall in four days. So I want to paint the, uh, paint the wall in four days. And the duration is four days and the task type is fixed duration. And I'm going to create a second step which is called uh, cleaning. So after painting that wall, I want to uh, you know uh, clean the place. I want to take one day for that. And I want to ensure that uh, that uh, task actually starts after the step one. That is after the paint the wall, this cleaning task should start by automatically, okay? So these are two steps that we are going to try now. So let us go to the Microsoft uh, project. And uh, let's do the steps one and two. So these are the two tasks that we want to do. And the first task, paint the wall, I know that it's going to take four days. That is the expectation. And uh, I want to complete this cleaning task in just one day. Okay. And I want to make uh, both the tasks as auto. So that the, uh, the calculation is done by itself, by the Microsoft project. So let us uh, make uh, this particular task, the first task to start by uh, Monday, which is uh, going to take four days. So it has to finish by Thursday. And uh, the second star, uh, task should actually starts, should start after finishing this uh, first task. So let us go to the properties and under the predecessor, you just select the previous task and say, okay. So now you see that the Friday on Friday, the second task actually starts. So we have done the first two steps and then we will go to the third step now. In the third step, what we are doing is we are just adding a painter and assigning the task, uh, assigning the painter to this two task. Okay. And here's the catch. So he will be paid 100 rupees per hour. It's Indian rupee. So uh, he'll be paid uh, 100 rupees per hour and uh, if he is working more than that expected uh, hours for a day, that is any overtime work, he'll be paid 200 hours, 200 rupees per hour for any overtime work. So this is an initial plan. Okay. So that means that uh, by default, we expect that he works for 8 hours per day as per the project plan okay so what we assume is he works for eight hours per day and he is he works for four days so we expect that he actually works for 32 hours that is fine okay and for each every hour the standard uh, the rate is 100 rupees per hour that means after completing the task one paint the wall he will be paid 300 3200 rupees okay and this is the expected cost so let us try to actually you know uh, complete this step step 3 go to the Microsoft project 
so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add a little source painter so he'll be paid 100 rupees so here by default it's in dollars if you want to change in uh, into uh, rupees just go to the options display and uh, change the currency to Indian rupee so now it changes to 100 100 rupees per hour this is a standard rate and overtime effort any overtime effort so he will be paid 200 rupees per hour so this is the actual plan so now what we are going to do is we are going to assign this painter to the task so for that just select the task and uh, under the view select the task form so that task form will be visible here what you have to do is you have to change the uh, uh, you have to add this uh, painter to this task and uh, what we have missed is we want to actually set this two task as fixed duration so that the duration doesn't change okay so first what we will do is we will change the task type to fixed duration and say okay and also we will do the same for cleaning just say okay so that whatever we do this four, four days duration doesn't change whatever we do this one day duration doesn't change okay so now we are going to assign this painter to this task so let's select the first task and then assign the painter and then say okay so now if you see the cost of the uh, the cost incurred you know by this painter is around 3200 rupees this is the expected cost okay this is a planned cost and for the second task also we can assign that okay he works for this particular task as well and he completes it so he'll be paid 800 rupees because for a day he works by eight hours for each one hour he'll be paid 100 rupees so he'll get 800 rupees okay so now we will go to the overtime how the overtime behaves so le now let's assume that he, he gets 3200 3, rupees anyway to work for 32 hours and then now the painter is smart enough now what we will do is we will just you know right click and we will view only the work related okay so the painter knows that he has to work for 32 hours but he also knows that if he works for overtime and he is able to complete the same 32 hours of work okay and he uses certain hours in overtime he gets more money okay so this is the step four let us assume that the painter is smart enough he knows that this task actually requires only 32 hours and he will be paid a minimum of 3200 rupees so what he desired is instead of working for just eight hours per day he decided to work few more hours so that he can be paid over time he can be paid for overtime work okay so hence a painter starts working additional hours daily and completes the 32 hours of work well before four days okay he worked additional eight hours per day sorry eight hours in total as overtime in this 32 hours okay so this is the catch so what what we understood is out of 32 hours this painter actually worked for eight hours as overtime that means he worked 16 hours in the actual duration and the overtime he worked on the same day he worked he did he did some additional effort so what we what we are going to see is the is the uh, the changes that we are going to see in the duration how that uh, start on day finish works how the cost is going to be differing so these are the things that we are going to see once we assign eight hours of additional overtime work okay so we will see that the remaining works remains the same that after 32 hours he used eight hours in overtime so he worked for 16 hours in the regular uh, period so what we expect is 16 hours is uh, uh, 24 hours sorry 
24 hours of work in the regular uh, expected uh, period and 8 hours in additional work that's a plan he has done so what we will see is 24 hours is nothing but 3 days of work that means we expect that he started by Monday and uh, he completed the task in Wednesday itself okay working for 24 hours and he did some additional 8 hours on the 3 days okay so this is what it actually explains so what will happen if it is a fixed duration that means duration cannot change so we will see how the system Microsoft project behaves okay now let's say okay to that and now you will see that since it is a fixed duration the duration doesn't change and the start date and finish date also remains the same but here is the catch if you see that this particular task actually was completed by this painter on just three days on the fourth day there is no work and on the fourth day and the fifth day the second task is completed by the same painter so what he has done is he has saved one day for himself and also if you see what is the cost that has been paid for this painter it's 4000 rupees instead of 3200 rupees he was paid 4000 rupees now so this is called the overtime effort in fixed duration okay so now you will understand that how does uh, overtime efforts are handled if uh, you are using the fixed duration task so is it a good is it a good way to approach yes for this painting the wall yeah this is a good way because uh, by just you know completing the ta task well ahead we have saved one day and for actually painting the wall it's always good to leave uh, the particular uh, place for a day to let them dry and then you know uh, if you do the cleaning it's always good to leave one day idle so for this you know it looks okay but what about uh, if uh, this duration if it is not a fixed duration if you change that to okay there is no restriction for uh, duration to be fixed I want this task to be completed on Thursday itself the second task don't wait for a day so then what will we have to do is we have to just change that fixed duration to either fixed unit or fixed work because either of it can change the duration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say fixed work otherwise fixed unit both are same in terms of duration duration will get affected so when I say fixed unit and say ok you'll see that four days will be shrink to two, three days so that the Thursday will be utilized by the second task just say ok here and here you can see that he still gets paid 4000 rupees and the painter is supposed to work on the Thursday itself and complete the work on Thursday so that the both the tasks will be completed by Thursday okay so this is the difference uh, how that Microsoft project behaves when you use the overtime effort when the task is a fixed unit and fixed duration thanks for watching